Hey guys, this is SCNE Productions. Um, I just wanted to do a little video of my impressions of the PlayStation Vita, which was just released recently. This isn't an unboxing, I've already opened it, been playing around with it a bit. But, um, it's a very interesting, unique, powerful system, which just recently released, and I wanted to give you some impressions on it. So this is SSN Productions, impressions video on the PlayStation Vita system. PlayStation Vita was just recently released, so I haven't really had enough time to really sink into it. So I'm kind of just going to give my brief impressions over it, compare and compare it a bit to its predecessor, the PS Sony PSP. So let's begin this. Um, from what I've looked at, in terms of basic build quality, Vita's not bad at all. I think it's actually better, well built, more well built than the, the uh, 3DS, to be honest. Um, and that's saying that's not saying a lot, seeing as the 3D the 3DS is actually really well built. But I do think it's a bit more built. I think it looks uh. It's better built, but I do think this this guy looks a lot sharper. Um, compared to its pre predecessor, it is slightly bigger, lengthwise and heightwise, but it is much much thinner than its predecessor. The screen is a lot nicer than the one on the PSP, um, and probably the most important thing about the PSV besides the graphics is the addition of a second analog stick. These analog sticks feel really good on the hands. They're like actual analog sticks rather than um, the thumb pad we got with the PS Vita. Um, to charge and hook up to things that now unfortunately rather than a regular USB we have this propi propi proprietary um, plug for the Sony Vita. So if you lose this, you essentially have to buy another one. You can't just use any everyday plug. Um, in the back, you have your. We got a new touchpad, which is different than the because there is no longer a there is no longer a slot for uh, the UMD disc, seeing as UMDs are out of date now, apparently. Um, so this thing is is basically they've went with the DS method of cards, um, from what it looks like. Uh, annoying things about this thing would be this message right here. PSP to memory cards sold separately required for most gameplay. Uh, without the, without the memory card, there is a little slot on the bottom of the system that houses a specific memory card designed for the Vita. That does not come with the system if you buy the Wi-Fi model. Or most models, to be honest. Uh, and you have to go and buy that separately. Without that memory card, you can't do much. I'll boot her up and I'll show you. You can't do much with it without that card. Um, games go actually on the top here. There's a little hatch. I only own one game at the moment. Oh, it's touchscreen based too. I only have Uncharted Golden Abyss, which is a really good Uncharted game, to be honest. Graphically, it looks just as about as good as the first Uncharted on the PS3. But, um... Here's the new uh, system they use. It's the live area. In other words, it's it's to go with the whole touchscreen gimmick. And it has catchy background music. But essentially, you want to go to an app, say the game, you just press the button, and there you go. Or if you want to go back, well, if you want to get rid of an app, you just peel it off. You got This thing actually has trophies now. So you can probably you can log into the PSN. And there's all your trophies right there. Even your PS3 ones. It's a cool little feature though. Um it has a camera built in. Takes a pretty damn good photo too.
obviously you can't really tell through the through two cameras, but the camera quality is not bad. It's kind of like a webcam style, but it's not bad at all. Definitely usable. Overall, um, responsiveness, the system, the touchscreen is perfectly responding. Every, everything works perfectly from what I've seen. The Wi-Fi is pretty good. Um, it connects just as great as any Android phone. Uh, if you want to get perfect internet, you can always go for the 3G model, which is more expensive, but it only goes through AT&T, and I'm a Verizon user, so I'm not going to go anywhere. You can also get PlayStation Store and Netflix. That's always fun. Yeah, I'll shut this guy down for now. Um, it's also it's kind of also like an iPod or phone now where it's constantly on. Although this will drain the battery, and you get decent battery actually out of this. I think it's actually better than the the 3DS. But um, oh no, PlayStation Vita is worth the money. Uh, there's a, a couple things that I don't like, like the, how the memory card is required for everything, and it doesn't come with the system. That bothers me, but, um, overall, I think it's worth your purchase, and I think Sony has some great potential with this thing. Alright, this is SSNU Productions, we're signing off.